Is that fucking awesome? That's awesome. <laughs> that was sick. It scared me a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I saw you jump. <laughs> this was my first attempt at making hydrogen gas out of water. But I do get quite a bit of bubbles. This should be oxygen gas and this should be hydrogen gas. However, I don't seem to get any gas that comes up and down to this hose. <sighs> down into this jar should see it bubble well if the hose was all the way down in there but so let's make a new one i just used a few quart mason jars an 88 cent stainless steel whisk from walmart some stainless steel scrubbers and a little bit of uh uh clear hose not so clear anymore i used to use it for brake fluid Uh, here I'm drilling the main hole for the whisk to go through right now. This will be the outlet for the hydrogen oxygen gas to come out. I'm not positive if this is the anode or the cathode. I believe this part is going to be the cathode where the hydrogen gas is produced. But I'm not sure. I'm just experimenting. We're going to drill this hole, put the whisk in there, and the whisk is going to be stuffed with these little scrubbers. And then the other two jars are for flashback arresters, just so that if any uh, of this gas gets ignited, it doesn't go back into this container and explode. And it basically has a, a water break in each of the other two jars to stop that from happening. So I'm just kind of unrolling these scrubbies. They kind of seem like a sock. And then I'm gonna stuff two of them inside that whisk. I'm just kind of test fitting the uh, whisk into the quart jar here. And then later on, I'll, I'll figure out a way to put an anode in there. Just putting a piece of uh, black hose on here. This is just some fuel line. Any kind of hose is going to work because that little pipe is going to be the outlet for your HHO gas, your hydrogen and oxygen gas, or uh, hydroxy gas. All right, so now I'm just uh, making the two flashback arresters. You just want them to use light pressure while doing this. Just take your time, be patient, so you don't crack these lids. They're they're pretty easy to crack. All right, a nice snug fit, so they basically will seal up pretty well. And then this hose is going to go to the bottom of the jar. And then the other hole, the hose is going to just stick in just, you know, a half an inch or so. So that it's only drawing from the top of the jar. I'm just measuring how much to get to the bottom of the next jar. 
these two jars are just going to get filled up with water. I'm going to drill two more holes and then put the hoses in and then I'll make the anode or the cathode if I'm wrong about that and then we'll be ready to fire this thing up and check it out. So for anybody that doesn't know what I'm doing here, I'm using electrolysis to split the water into its base elements of hydrogen and oxygen. The water is just two parts hydrogen and one part oxygen. So we're going to split those into hydrogen gas and oxygen gas, which is the perfect ratio together, two parts hydrogen, one part oxygen uh, for an explosive uh, gas. So you could use this to make a oxyhydrogen torch or um, many other experiments. I'm going to use this to run a small engine. Um, I believe the ignition, time needs, ignition timing needs to be retarded in order to do so. Um, but this is my, that's my main goal after I you know, figure this out and then figure out how big of a cell I need in order to run a small engine. I'm just wrapping these with electrical tape to prevent them from coming into contact each with each other and uh, causing a short. I will be connecting both sides of this to a car battery. Now this is a very temporary, just, uh, you know, trying to try this out. I'll be doing a more professional job here after this experiment. But there it is. There's my little ghetto HHO generator. Uh, my camera wasn't filming when I added the potassium hydroxide. So I'll add a little bit more here just so it's on camera. I'm just filling up the uh, water break or the flashback arrester. Mixing up the potassium hydroxide and distilled water, and that actually produces a lot of heat.
that we're about ready to go. We gotta add some more distilled water so there's less volume there. One, so that uh, it's less dangerous from an explosion, and two, so there's less volume that has to be filled before the gas will leave and go to the next container. Just connecting my ground right now, and then I'll be connecting my positive to the tube off of the stainless steel whisk. And this I have a 30 amp fuse on just in case. We're making a little bit of gas here, but the water level is a little bit too high, so we're actually just pushing uh, water and bubbles through the hose instead of uh, gas. So I'm going to take a little bit of water out here in a minute. You'll notice there starts to be a red tint uh, very shortly, and I believe that's just uh, the process dissolving the red insulation on that wire. We're making hydrogen gas. Oh my goodness. So we have a lot of volume here that would be filling. So I probably need to add more water here. Once this fills up, then this will start bubbling. And it'll come through this tube in here, bubble up, and come out of the output. Oh, that's awesome. Why does it look red? It's eating the water. Oh, oh, rusty wire makes sense. No, the red insulation on the wire that's going in here. Oh, this that wire, one. Oh. This wire goes in right here a little bit, so I'm assuming that has to be where it's coming from. That's fucking awesome. Yeah, well, this has a little bit of a... Uh, so it's releasing this, uh, oxygen, right? Hydrogen, hydrogen and oxygen gas mixed together, hydroxy gas. It's at a perfect ratio to be explosive. And when it explodes, it turns back into water. It's very hot steam. Like a hydrogen bomb? Yeah. Or like the Hindenburg. The big old blimp that flew from Germany all the way to here. And then it fucking burst into flames. It fucking flew off of hydrogen because the U.S. was the only, person, the only place that made helium. And they wouldn't sell it to Germany. So they used hydrogen to fly. And it exploded their fucking massive vessel. Interesting. Right over somewhere in the States. They flew all the way from Germany to here and then it fucking, it fucking burst into a big fireball. So once this volume here fills up, then it'll start going through this hose into here and start bubbling this one. Really, I need more water in here. Just start getting this one to bubble or I have to sit here and wait. That or I'm leaking out of one of these slightly. I need to go stir my shit. I'm gonna start. That's fucking awesome. Hold on, I'll come back and go. I'm gonna start this bitch up. So, if for some reason the spark was ignited and this sent a fire through here, the explosion, it would hit the water like a water break. It's called a flashback arrestor. And then it would have to go through that tube if it made it through there somehow into this one. It would have to go all the way through the water. And back into here for it to explode. So I have a double flashback arrestor there just to be safe. That's an eating with your battery, the wire. Huh? Not your battery wire, but your wire. Yeah. It's just fucking. Well, and an extra. Um, this is just to show that my output actually is producing something. Oh. Then I'll be able to like put it in a bottle and fucking make it pop or something. See my second spark uh, flashback arrestor is starting to bubble. Mm -hmm. well, I pulled the hose up some so it didn't have to work through so much pressure in the water. Yeah, once this starts to bubble, I could take a little dish of like soapy water and put that in there to make some bubbles, and then I can light those with my lighter firecrackers. That sounds cool. Yeah, or I could use that to fill up a bottle 
and then put it on a stick or something, and light the bottom of the bottle, and it's in the rough. You better invite me to get in. Sounds sick. Awesome. That's awesome. <laughs> that was sick. It scared me a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I saw you jump. <laughs> Just, let's do little, not huge firecrackers. <laughs> That's cool. That's fucking awesome. Yeah. That's loud, isn't it? It is loud. <laughs> Alright, how about a rocket now? Give me a bottle. I need an empty water bottle. We're making a rocket. Give me a rocket. So I just shut her down, we're getting hot. Let's go ahead and light off our little rocket ship here. And then shut her down. Production has slowed down a lot right now, so there isn't that much gas in the little rocket. That's not hot. The ground's pretty warm. Warm it up that's melting the plastic of the lid. That was fun. Alright. First experiment is over. <laughs>